Hello everyone, uh, my name is Vlad Stamate and welcome you all to the digital collection uh, series and uh, video series. In this video, the first one I'm making, we will be talking about this wonderful uh, TRS-80 color computer or colloquially known as COCO, um, color computer one that is, and we'll try to fix some issues that um, it developed over, over time. And in the end, if everything goes well, we'll try to play around with some basic and um, just have a bit of fun. But first, let's talk a, a bit about what uh, what I have here. So this is a, like I said, a TRS-80 color computer. It is uh, the first color computer, the first generation. However, it is the 32 kilobyte RAM version. And uh, as you'll see later on, I'm gonna open it up. It does have a mod to um, support 64 kilobytes, which was actually not an official release from Tandy back then. Uh, this model actually was uh, made in 1982. Interesting enough, actually, when I when I opened it the first time on the on the back of the front cover, uh, there's, um, there's, there's an inscription. It has a date and the year is 1982. However, it does have was well, one interesting thing. It does have a um, low um, serial number on the back, uh, 6,509, which indicates that this is a um, uh, earlier, uh, like a lo um, earlier production cycle, which makes it quite unique. Um, I got it about five years ago. Uh, when I got it, it was uh, it was working, was so everything was fine. Uh, however, the collection around me has moved uh, a few times, and I believe something must have happened. Uh, didn't want to move, so uh, for now it's, it's not booting. So we'll have to figure figure that. Um, but before we do any of that, before we open it up and, and see what's up with it, I uh, just want to point uh, a couple of issues um, so that, uh, you know, if any of you, whenever you get uh, one of these machines and you want to, like, restore it uh, back to its original glory, um, don't make the same mistake that I did. I came a little bit dirty, so I wanted to clean. Um, so I used uh, uh, isopropyl alcohol or, or rubbing alcohol, uh, trying to get the dirt off, and it worked. However, um, what I didn't realize at the time is that this plastic is actually painted plastic. And as you can see, um, of, uh, how the paint rubbed uh, in those places, and now it's black. So underneath actually is a black plastic covered with this uh, silver looking paint. And uh, what the rubbing alcohol did, obviously took the paint off. So not only it didn't clean very well when I did it, but it also made it worse. So I stopped at the time immediately. Um, and I had to think of uh, different ways uh, to clean it. Um, if you check, um, the 8-bit guy has a uh, video on YouTube about um, how he restores one of those uh, and he repaints it entirely. It will be a good uh, place to go um, check it out. All right, uh, back to our problem. As you can see, every time I power on the Coco or Brissette, I get a flash of the green screen with the copyright, followed by the red screen, which never goes away. All right, let's uh, open it and see what is inside. To that we have to unscrew around 10 screws, one of which is hidden under the warranty sticker. Uh, but hey, you know, we are about 38 years too late for that, so who cares? Um, Alright, there you go. Now we have to remove the uh, electromagnetic shield before we can get to the logic board, and that's it, done. Alright, now that we have opened it, let's uh, have a look inside. So this is the, the, the main board. Uh, but the uh, the logic circuitry is uh, in this area here that was covered um, by the elect electro um, electromagnetic shield. Um, this is the power source, and the interesting chips here that we have: uh, the 6809 uh, Motorola uh, CPU is right here. Uh, the BIOS, uh, the uh, VGP, the video processor, and this is the ROM. The Connection, the aftermarket cables, there are actually three of them. Um, those are the modification I mentioned before uh, related to making the machine support 64 kilobyte uh, RAM. And as you can see, somebody did a botched job uh, in terms of connecting. This actually has to connect from uh, the TP1 uh, uh, connection all the way to pin 5 of this uh, um, 74 uh, chip there. Um, so um, I made sure that I, I discharge myself. This machine is not plugged in. So I'm going to try to make sure I receive every chip back. Um, just gently push on them without uh, 
touching any um, themes. Uh, this one uh, will probably band and keep it somewhere here, so it doesn't produce a contact we do not want. All right. Um, all right, there you go. Let's uh, let's give this a try. And voila, it works. Let's try a simple command to see how much memory is available. And it works. It shows 24 kilobytes, which is correct. And now to put everything back together in exactly reverse order. Isn't it strange that every time you put something together, you are left always with like one extra screw? Yep, that happened to me too. Now that everything works, let's try a very simple basic program. Say, a program that asks for a number, then checks if the number is either even or odd, and then prints the correct answer. Then after that, goes back to start, and so on and so on. So this program will take four lines of basic, and we can see them printing, me tapping them on the screen. Um, and then we'll uh, try to make sure it's correct uh, with two numbers, one odd and uh, one even. That's it, let's run it, let's run number 4, it's even, number 569, it's odd. Well, um, that was it for our first, somewhat short, uh, video of a very simple, I guess you could say, repair of a TRS-80 color computer. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> In my next videos I plan to do um, quite, a few interesting th quite a few interesting things, um, an Apple expose, um, an SWTPC 6800 introduction and how to use it. Um, an Intelli voice uh, presentation, uh, which is quite interesting. Um, and many other interesting subjects. Uh, all based on computers that are part of my, you know, always growing uh, digital collection. See you soon.